Hi, this is Rafiq Suleiman, and you are watching Cloud Simplified. Hi, everyone, and welcome to another lesson from the Cloud Practitioner Express. And in this lesson, we continue what we started talking about AWS storage. In the previous lesson, we explained the block storage. In this lesson, we continue explaining the object storage. Now, the second type of storage, it's called object storage. And the name of the service here, it's called S3. And S3 stands for Simple Storage Service. S3 is an object storage that offers the industry leading in scalability, data availability, and security. S3 can store and protect almost any type of data suitable for many use cases like websites, like data lakes, like backups, like cloud native applications, and like analytics. Also, S3 has something very unique, which is its durability, because S3 has 11 nines of durability. So theoretically speaking, if you have an object stored in S3, you might lose this object maybe once every 10 million years or something. That's great. So let's see what are the Amazon S3 characteristics. So as we explained, S3 is an object storage service that stores data as objects. And I store these objects inside something called buckets. So you might think about buckets as folders. And then an object, very simply, this is the file that you have. And every file has what we call metadata. And metadata very simply means information about this data and this includes the file name the file type the file size for example it's simply information that describes this file and then we mentioned two very interesting features about s3 the first interesting one s3 has a durability of 11 nines and that's a huge number and 11 nines means very simply if you have something like 10,000 objects, you might have a possibility to lose maybe one of these objects maybe every 10,000 years. So this is a very, very high level of durability. And something also very nice and very interesting is S3 can scale virtually to infinity. So on S3, you can store as much data as you need. And this is very unique to uh, S3 because in general if you have your storage controllers if you are on premise any storage controller has a limitation any storage controller will have a maximum number of data where you can store but on S3 virtually you can keep on storing keep on storing as much as you need and for S3 as we explained the first thing is I store my objects in buckets you can think about buckets as folders and very interesting i have all the control on these objects so i can enable or i can permit with what we call iam policies i can permit who can access exactly these data and also what they can do with this data for example and finally, and that's what we're going to see in the next lesson, we are going to explain what we call different types of storage classes that we can have on S3. So with this, we come to the end of this very interesting service that we have on AWS, and that's S3, one of the most important services, because I cannot think of any solution or architecture on AWS where you will not need to use S3. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next lesson.